yeah, yeah, yeah. You are welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, me, sir. Yes, that's my logo. Yeah, guys, today your guy is in playful mood, but I want to really, uh, really, really talk about something that comes to my mind due to the some. I went out some days last month, that was last month, and I came across one of uh, Shagala's. The way I saw her, the, her look and physique and that, I'm not happy about it. I don't have much time to discuss with her to know why she looks like that or what is she passing through. But no matter the lives, no matter the situation, I think I have to talk about personal hygiene. Yeah, personal hygiene is the body cleanliness, giving much attention to your body, no matter how difficult it is, which is very important for we ladies. Uh, but because a lot of people will say how people do this we stink we stink and it also depends on you apart from uh you just take your bed and that is all some people just used to bath rub cream sometime and just go on but let us talk about this area this part of the body that are very important for a lady to take good care of the first place is our hair yes your hair is your beauty as a woman so it needs you to give a little time from that time of the day, which is just once or twice, depend how much hair you have, that your hair also need much attention. And also the, the weather condition, it may be summer or winter, or no matter how, at least once in a week, your hair still demand you to wash it thoroughly so that it will smell nice. So your hair sometimes do stink. You know it because the, the deposit of the hair cream you are rubbing, it's it's safe on your scalp and when it stays too long, it brings out a strong smell, which we all know. Yeah, so some ladies don't really care. Some of them do wash their hair once in a month, which is not nice. Please, if you are doing this, please stop. Even though your the family you are working with may not provide you uh, regular essential that you needed, to, but at least we still have soap for hours that you can use to wash that hair thoroughly and avoid being sticky. And if you can't make your hair yourself, because nobody is helping us to make our hair, we do that by ourselves. As you can see me, I don't plait my hair, neither, the, neither weave it, but I wash it and I pack it it only requires me washing and combing sometimes. Look at it. It may be very painful though, but you still have to do it. And the second one I'm going to talk about is regular bathing. Yes, at least for a lady working in this very hot country, they have longer summer than winter. Yeah, it's very hot here. At least try to take your bath twice in a day, in the morning and later in the evening after the daily work. And sometimes it may happen you overwork and you sweat a lot to your clothes and you think like you can still hold it on to, to later when you want to go to bed. No, please go and shower because when your sweat dry on your skin again, apart from it can bring some reaction like skin rashes. It will bring that strong, stinky smell. And that is why they said some people have body odor. So try to clean up immediately when you see that, oh, you are in a mess or you sweat a lot. Take your shower. It's done. Just five minutes shower. Use a nice bathing soap or shower gel to just rinse that, the sweat out of your body. And it's okay. And uh, another one is your clothes. Yes, the clothes we are putting on. When you have that sweat on, try to put it off. When you put it off, because some people will be like, it's, there's, it's not that, it's just that I wear, I wear heat and I sweat on. Uh, it, it's already dry, you put it on. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put that same cloth again. Put on new clothes. Even these clothes, not you that you are washing it. It only takes the washing machine to wash them. So I don't see you. I don't see anything wrong if you can wear two or three clothes in a day due to the kind of work we are doing. Let us try to clean up. Don't let's wait to, until people around us tell us, <laughs> you stinking in different areas. Which is fish. 
you know when someone is referring to is is there fish here is there onions here even onions still have a very uh, romantic uh, scent sometimes but when someone is asking you is there a fish here that means you stink so bad don't let someone use that phrase you don't have to hear that so please then please learn how to change your clothes at the right time yeah learn how to change and uh another point that i want to talk about it are nails yes your fingernails it's not necessary that you be someone like me that love to paint and nails with cortex even though i have told you guys the reason behind painting my nails that it helps to avoid chemical penetration i mean uh oh we close no is that we close they call it yes we close which is um uh, uh infection of germs or water reaction penetration into your own damaged nails which can cause a painful uh scars and that and hot to your hands so you that is the major reason why i'm painting my nails most times but if you don't even like painting your nail but the most important thing is learn how to clean your nails properly and learn how to massage this your hands properly when i'm talking about massaging use the kitchen olive oil or if you have a uh, vaseline which is common to the arab ladies when you are done with daily chores please rub your hands and that your nails try to wash it and cut it at the right time if you are the kind of person that like to keep nails to be long for beauty purpose it's okay but the most important thing is that ensure that it's clean don't let all the black suits go in there and sit down and make a, a foundation that doesn't make sense there yeah so learn how to clean your fingernails cut it if possible and the uh, another one is your hair so people will be thinking that what happened with our hairs hmm. look at my hair the the the, the holes here it's very important for a lady to learn how to clean it some people do say it pains them that whenever they try to clean up their uh, hair drums or hair holes that they affect pain but try if you are kind of person that do have that painful uh uh, the effect pains when you are cleaning it you can put that cutting board inside a little touch of water before you start cleaning so that maybe it's because of that too dryness it brings that painful uh feelings or sensation to you so learn how to clean your hair holes because a lot of ladies they or someone tells them that don't you see that your your hair is peeling off because the, the 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 hair is already dirty and it's already full and it's peeling out itself it's not nice seeing a fellow lady like me and looking at her from head to toe yeah i used to even look at someone here when you are talking to me like i don't know why but i used to look at someone like like that and, and i know that there are some people like that i would be looking at you the way i did so try to learn how to clean your here if you can't do it once in a week me i like doing it once in a week but at least you do it once in a month don't do it once in a year that is too bad or twice in a year keep up there that is not proper for a lady please and please learn how to be clean it's very important and uh also i've talked about our nails also our toes it need our attention please learn how to massage it and don't make your legs to be cracky yeah some people will take bath and forget their their foot and that uh, the back of their foot will be so cracky please learn how to maintain your body and another part that i'll be talking about is a pubic area and down there yeah it's so so important because majorly when someone uh, is sweaty or uh, because most of us we look at our own mine is not much because i think i don't have it i don't have much but you if you are keeping here if you are keeping your pubic here you will be having a sweaty armpit a lot and then there will also be sweaty yes and also this sensitive smell we can all perceive it all ladies have this smell this natural vg smell i mean down there but it depends how you handle things if you are regular if you are regularly shaving down there it's going to it's going to really 
uh, limit that strong smell coming out of there yeah because you will be smelling fresh and how can you also do this is after the daily work please wear a cloth that is very transparent at least to allow your skin to breathe out and also to allow that day to breathe out if possible don't put on any underwears i mean underwear you can wear a free night gown so that since morning you are very well you know these people like us covering 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 and our body will uh, will remind all that thing that you are putting on if you don't allow the skin as well to breathe in fresh air so please and please and uh when we talk about our underwear it's very important you change your underwear regularly for a lady you have to be putting on two underwear I mean two is very important at least two is very important in a day try to change your underwear at the necessary time it's not that you just try to turn 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 your side to <laughs> no don't do that for a lady we need to smell nice and don't think that be smelling aromatic or smelling good smelling nice it's or it has to do with a married couple no you are married to yourself because the way you do to yourself, appreciating yourself will bring that natural, natural look and natural uh, beauty about who you are. Yes, and I believe this is going to be a helpful tip to my fellow ladies out there. Thank you so much. and see you in my next video. Bye. That fence.